Hi everybody out there in Maple Ridge, happy Canada Day. Uh, my name is Laura Johnson, I'm a local artist and a visual arts instructor here in Maple Ridge. Today we are all celebrating Canada Day in different ways and so I'm going to show you how to make some crafts from supplies that you have at home. So this is our first project. It's a flag tied to a hockey stick. Let's get started. Most importantly is you need a large piece of white paper. Uh, you can use Bristol board or computer paper, whatever you really have at home. I also have some red Bristol board that I got from Michaels and a few pieces of sparkly like foam paper that I also got at Michaels, some sparkly ribbon, any, anything that you can really find at home that's festive. I have found these on sale at Michaels. They're just like little um, extra razzle dazzle, some string, a ruler, pencil, scissors, a red felt pen if you have one, some glue, some tape, and most importantly, some maps. And I'll turn this around the proper way. I found these maps. I just screenshotted a map of the place that I was born and then printed it off on my computer printer. So if you don't have color ink, that's fine. You can use black and white as well too. Um, so let's get started. We just need to make the placement of where our road maps are going to go on our flag. Now the, the length of the flag is double to what the width of the flag is. So on my piece of paper I measured out uh, 22 inches. It's 22 inches long. So I'm going to draw a line actually it's 22 inches long so I want 11 inches width so mark 11 and 11 here and then if you don't have a ruler that's super long like mine you can take your other piece of paper you have and just use that for some nice length and then just draw a line all the way down. So now to find the halfway point we just want to measure 11 inches here and you can do whatever size you want just as long as it's double uh, the, the width. So 11 here and then I'm going to gently just draw a gentle line there because we're actually going to erase that after and then to find this is going to be where the maps are on either side and then your maple leaf will be in the middle so half of 11 inches is 5.5 inches we'll just make our little marks and then i'll draw a line there and these lines we're not going to erase just the middle line so again 5.5 And I always mark the top and the bottom just so I get a nice straight line. So we'll set that off to the side and then just take your scissors and cut that extra portion off. Okay, I'll throw that the side. All right, so now take your road maps. And this is an interesting portion, part of it, is that I chose the city that I was born in to showcase for the center of my maple leaf. So it kind of really brings a nice multicultural aspect to this craft, is that everybody's going to have a different individualized maple leaf if you choose to do the city you were born in but they'll all be similar but all be different at the same so what i'm going to do is i printed off an image of a maple leaf okay you want to make sure that it's about the right size for your craft we can always adjust it uh, with a felt pen if we need to and so you can just cut this out okay and i have one that's pre-done and i used my 
brist my Bristol board to cut it out just because it made a bit of a better stencil. So take your maple leaf and I'll turn it around here. So the city I was born in is right here and I'm going to put my maple leaf right on there and I'm going to use, I think I'll use a black pen just so it shows up and then trace and then cut it out. Now that we have it cut out, I'll show you just where it's going to be placed in the middle, right here with the points, all lining up with that center line. So we'll put that off to the side. And now we're going to fill in the side pieces with our map. So take your pen again. And this is why it was good to prep. Now I, I'm going to leave a little bit of edges around where I'm going to color in red just to give the red portion of the flag on here so we can still see some red and it's not all green and blue. And then it also gives um, adjustment if, if you need to fill in your, your space a little bit and make it a proper proportion. So I'm just going to mark right about there. So I can still see my lines in the background here. And I have a bit of a border, so I'm just going to leave a little bit of an edge there. And then I'm going to take my ruler and draw a line right through there and then cut this out. And I'm going to do the same for this side as well. Actually just going to use this as a template and pop it right on my other map and I just chose a couple different angles it's the same city center but I just took a few different viewpoints just so that I could show that the map wasn't all exactly the same on here And now we're going to assemble the map. So it will be kind of like that. I'm going to get my glue. And I'm going to start with my maple leaf first. So you just make sure you get lots of glue on there because when you are playing with it, you don't want it to go blowing off in the wind. And you can use a glue stick or liquid glue, whatever glue you have at home. Lots in the middle. So the important part and why we drew the center line is to line up the, 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 the top point of the maple leaf and the stem of the maple leaf on that center line that we drew. And we're going to erase that after. And now again, the same with this. Okay, now take your eraser and just gently erase those center lines out. And then take your red felt pen and we're just going to color in and around the outside and make the maple leaf just a little bit bigger um, because it is just a little bit bigger in the center of the flag. But that's what's nice about doing the red felt pen after is you can adjust. So if your sizes aren't perfect, this will all bring it together. OK, 
Okay. So that is the first part of our craft. And now we're going to adhere it to the hockey stick or whatever stick you have, if you have just a stick from your yard or anything that you have that you can tie it to. Okay, guys, next we're going to tie the flag to the stick. So just want to make sure you have the, your stick. And you, can, again, can use any stick that you have. I'm just using a hockey stick because it's very representative of Canada. So take your scissors and gently, and if, if, you're, if you need help from your parents, get help from your parents and you just gently poke a little hole through with the tip. And again, if you need your parents' help for this part, just get an adult to help you. Okay, because you don't want to poke your finger when you get, get it through. Okay, so I've got two little holes. I'm just going to cut a smaller length of ribbon. Okay, and weave it through. The back halfway and again for the bottom. Okay, pull it through. I'm going to turn my sparkly bit facing out so you can see the pretty sparkles. Um, you need your tape too and then get your stick nice and close. Tie it on. Regular knot, but twice so that it doesn't come flying off. You want to make sure we secure it nicely to the stick so that when you're playing with it, it doesn't come flying off. Okay, so also, I'm just going to take a little bit of tape and tape it in place. So now this is the first portion of your hockey, Canada Day hockey flag stick. But I'm going to dress it up a little bit more. And I'm going to add some more cutouts and some decorative bits that I did. So I, again, just made a stencil. I made a little, a smaller maple leaf stencil. Uh, and then you just cut it out of paper. I took this red sparkly paper and I just drew, traced my stencil on the back and I also did the same with my red construction paper or red Bristol board. So I'll cut one out for you now. This is, we, we traced it. This is an easy way to do it is sort of cut your piece out in the general shape so that you're not holding on to all of that. And then just cut your maple leaf out. And it's you can do different sizes. There's a couple different ways you could tie it to the string. I've woven mine through by doing two holes. You can do one hole with a little knot on the end. I like it just woven through like this so I'm going to show you how to do two and turn it over and again just very gently with your scissors and if you need help from a parent or an adult get help for this part okay and so I have put two holes here I'm going to take my ribbon and cut a nice longer piece so this is going to be like the ribbon wand part so Tie a little knot, because this is the beginning. I like to just fold it a bit, to help work it through that hole. If you have different ribbons, some might be a little sturdier than others. Just pull it all the way through until you come to the knot. There, and if you're not 
Hopefully that holds. You can always put another knot in there if you think that your hole was too big. And then weave it back through. the top just like that and then it can hang nicely and then you just take it right to the where you've already tied on your flag and tie it on now you can do a whole bunch of maple leaves on here you can just do one I'm going to do one on this one because I already have a beautiful maple leaf chain on here now you could you could make this separately and hang it from your window as well, or your front door. You could do a whole bunch of these. You could be cutting out maple leaves all day long and just really decorate everything with beautiful little maple leaves to celebrate Canada Day. So I have a couple extras. Just show you guys how cool that looks so far, hanging from there. And because I have a hockey stick, I'll scoop this down. I'm just going to tape a few of these extra little embellishments onto the stick. So there's a few ways you could do it. You could tie them. And if you have ribbon, this will work great, like regular birthday party ribbon. Oh. Okay, maybe not tie it. But whatever you have, will work and make it look beautiful. And I'm just going to tape it right on there. Just a little more tape. Maybe a couple more. Be really fun with it. And you can tie all sorts of things to this. It doesn't have to be what specifically what I have. What you have at home, it could be like I had extra different ropes. Just whatever you have at home that's bright and colorful. If you have red, that's great. If you, if you have silver, whatever colors is awesome. So then now you can run around your neighborhood or your backyard and fly your Canada Day flag with pride. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Um, and make, make something really cool and interesting at home. And I just want to say happy Canada Day to everybody in Maple Ridge and have a fun and safe Canada Day. Thank you so much and we'll see you guys again.